Okay, welcome back. You made it to part two. Thanks for staying. Don't run. Don't run yet. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're going to start right where we left off. I'm going to look at my game programming with Slick 2D folder. So here we go. I got that. And what I want to do today is get Eclipse open and get us set up with our very first project. And maybe even get a little window open. I know, you're excited. Here we go. So let's open the Eclipse folder and open Eclipse.exe. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to come in here and make a new folder. All right. So I'm going to right click and say new folder. And I'm going to call this, uh, let me see, what do I want to call this? Um, my game, I'll call this my game projects. You can name the folder pretty much anything you want, but this is where I'm going to store all of my, my game projects, okay? So I might have, you know, for example, through this tutorial, we're going to have plenty of different projects that we work on, and they'll all be stored in this folder just for organizational purposes. All right, so let's go back to Eclipse now. So make sure that you know where this folder is at. Again, you've got to know where all this stuff is located. That's why I have it in a single folder right here. If you have it spread out all over your computer, I suggest you put it together. That way you know where it's at because it's going to be very important for these next couple steps. So open Eclipse and then hit the Eclipse.exe or it's the Eclipse with the uh, purple orb right there. Okay, And Eclipse will start to open. Alright, and right here we get the workspace launcher saying select a workspace. This is asking you where do you want to save your work and where do I want to save my work? I want to save it to that folder I just created, where I created that game projects folder. So I'm going to hit browse. I paid special attention and I know that, for example, I know mine is on my desktop. It's in a folder called game programming with slick 2D. And there it is, my game projects folder. So make sure you can find it. Okay. Once you've found it, go ahead and hit OK and Eclipse will begin to boot up and start. Okay, so when Eclipse first starts, uh, you're going to see, I'm getting ahead of myself. Here we go. Come on. You can do it. Okay, there we go. All right. So when Eclipse first starts out, uh, it's going to uh, look like this. And uh, it's, this is the welcome screen. I don't really worry about the welcome screen too much. So in the top left, I'm going to hit the X button on the welcome screen. And this is the workspace of what uh, Eclipse actually looks like. So. What we're going to do is f start our first project and get it all connected with Slick so that we can uh, start game programming. So I'm going to go to File, New, Java Project. All right. And for the project name, I'm going to call it First Slick 2D Project. Okay. Um, spelling or capitalization doesn't really matter here. This is just the project name. Um, but, you know, I don't know. There you go. I'm going to stop talking now. Okay, so I'll, after I do that, I'm going to click Finish. And you'll notice in the Package Explorer over here, this will be a list of all your projects. And right now, we have one project. That's the first project we made, first Slick 2D project, okay? Now, what I need to do is tell Eclipse to uh, use these libraries for, uh, use the LWJGL and the Slick 2D libraries. Okay, so to do that, with the Explorer right here, right click on the name of your first project, first 2D project, and go to Properties, all the way at the bottom, and you should see this. On the left hand side, we want to click on Java Build Path, and now up top we want to click on Libraries. So you're right here, right? You're right here. If you're not, pause. Pause. Go ahead. It's okay. You can pause. Okay, welcome back. All right, sorry, I wasn't ready. I had to get a drink. Okay, here we go. We're going to go to Add External Jars. Now, again, this is what's going to be important. I'm going to go to my desktop. I need to know where I have the Slick 2D and the LWJ GL folder. Again, I know mine's on my desktop in a folder called Game Programming, and there's all my folders for Game Programming. And I'm going to click on LWJ GL. And now I have four options again. So I'm going to click on jar, and now I'm going to click on the lwjgl.jar. Now, if you don't see .jar, that's okay. Uh, some of you might have Windows hiding file extensions from you. It'll just be the plain lwjgl, okay? Um, yeah, okay, there you go. So lwjgl, hit open, and now under libraries, I have lwjgl along with the jre. 
And we're going to repeat that process one more time for Slick 2D. So I'm going to go Add External Jar. I'm going to go back to my main folder, find my Slick folder that I made from the first part. And uh, now I'm going to go to Lib in Slick, and I'm looking for just the single name slick.jar or maybe just slick if you don't see the dot jars appended to every file. Okay, so hit the slick. There you go. So you got LWJGL, you got slick there. And one final step. I'm going to click on the arrow next to LW, sorry, the arrow next to LWJGL. It's tough to say. Um, for some of you, it might be a plus right here, okay? But make sure that you click that and it will drop down some further options. We're going to click on the native library location and then click on the edit button and so now we're gonna find the location path of this library and I'm gonna go to an external folder and again I need to know where I stored everything mine is on my desktop game programming was slick I'm looking for my LWJGL folder then I go to the native folder and like I said before I'm doing it in Windows. If you're doing it in something else, you're going to have to try and follow me uh, along with Linux or Mac right here. But I'm doing Windows. Hopefully you are too. Um, so I'm going to click on the Windows folder. And once you have the Windows folder selected, you hit OK. OK one more time. And we're done. So three steps. you got to add external jars. you got to add the slick.jar. you got to add the lwjgl.jar. Then you got to click on the arrow or plus on the lwjgl native library, edit, and you got to find that Windows native library. And hit OK. All right. All right, so uh, that is the next part. So we're ready to start our first project. I'm going to leave that for part three. But we have Eclipse open. We got our first project, and we've set it up correctly. I know that uh, we haven't done much yet, but good things are coming. OK, go ahead and click that link on the top right right now that says on to part three so you can see how we start our first game. And we're going to get started with our first piece of code. All right. Talk to you later. I'm Mickey L. Ray. Peace.